of nonpartisanship has a, a progressive expre expression, you'll hear union leaders be like, screw the Democrats, because they're unreliable, they're too conservative, they're too pro-corporate. Corporations bought the party, so screw the Democrats. You'll hear that. But you'll also hear people say, well, I, you know, screw the Democrats. They're, all they care about is gay marriage and abortion, and my members are conservative and don't want to be messed around with that, and they're too liberal. Right? You'll hear there's a conservative expression and there's a progressive expression. I think they're both problematic and that uh, labor should be doing everything it can to, to push back on those, those arguments within their membership. Here's why. Here's a bottom line, bread and butter, labor, life or death, reason why. Uh, recently, the United Auto Workers uh, attempted to organize workers in Volkswagen plants in Tennessee. And this was even with the neutrality of the boss, right? They leveraged partnerships in Germany to get Volkswagen as a corporation to just to back off and be like, go for it. And even almost encouraging members to vote yes for the union. That organized and drive laws, work, the workers voted no. And the campaign to get them to vote no had almost nothing to do with things in the factory. It was, if you join the union, the union's going to support the Democrats and give money to people who are pro-abortion and pro-gay marriage, etc. They're going to take your guns. They're going to take your money, give it to Obama, and Obama's going to show up at your house and take your gun. Right? <laughs> That's how they beat the union in the factory. So the old model, the old labor thinking of don't talk about the divisive issues and the ideology and the partisanship, we're nonpartisan. This is just about our wages with our, with, with our employer and our power with our employer, and we just support the candidates that support us, and it's not partisanship. We're sort of, at this point, the right wing has married unions and the Democratic Party in the minds of everybody, it's kind of time that we recognize that that's the fact. And that if we can't push our members to realize that it doesn't matter if their neighbor's gay and married, and what does matter is whether they have a job. If we're not willing to push our members on that, we're going to continue to lose labor fights on political grounds.